Black men need to do better. How can we do better? By loving one another and treating each other with respect. We need to stop killing each other. Why is the black men killing each other? I believe it's from their upbringing. It's their childhood. They're seeing a mother doing promiscuous things in front of them. They have no father figure. So that situation, it starts off as being sad. It starts off as being miserable. Then it leads to anger. Then it leads to rage. And from what I'm seeing is that children is afraid to come forward, forward and tell their story. Think about it for a second. You're a kid. What, what kid is going to have the heart, whether it's a boy or girl, and, 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 and had the heart to come forward and, and tell their peers or their family members, I'm feeling sad, my mom's a whore. Think about that for a second. What kid has the heart to go up to, go up to a, a close relative and tell them that their mother's a whore and that's what's upsetting them? Think about it for a second. Think about the consequences of that. They go tell the school, they get taken away from their mother. They go tell... The family members, it can get back to the mom. The mom can't deny it. Then the kid can suffer. The kid can be on punishment. The kid can get phys physically abused. And this is what happened to the African-American community. I was one of those kids that seen my mom do promiscuous things. I know what it's like. And not only do I know what it's like, as I got older, I've seen other people around me. I've dated many women that do the same thing. I've seen it with my own eyes. I've been seeing it all my life, actually. I see this stuff. And so the little boys and the little girls grow up angry and bitter. You got children out there, African-American children, going to school smoking weed. Now, in my opinion, they're doing that stuff because they're trying to suppress the pain that they deal with every day in their home. It's no reason for a child to be smoking weed. Not unless they're trying to calm themselves down. And that's what's happening out there. It's children out there is in foster care. It's children out there in group homes right now. And they grow up bitter and angry. And some of the African American kids out there that's in the system that I came across because I'm speaking from experience, they think their dad it's terrible. They think they ta they, their dad is bad. Now, now, if they know their dad personally, they grew up with their dad, and their dad physically did something bad to them in their face, that's different. But what I'm seeing is that kids are saying, well, my dad was never there. He was the deadbeat. He was this. He was that. And they're only going off of the mom's side of the story. And reality is, in some cases, what I've seen myself is that they don't even know who their father is because their mom was so promiscuous that the mom is afraid to tell them that I was promiscuous, I was out there, I was sleeping around, and I don't know who your father is. Think about that for a second. What mother got the heart to tell their child, I don't know who your father is because I was sleeping around? This is what happens in the African-American community, in the poor neighborhoods. This is what happens. And the children suffer. How can we fix this? I believe one of the things that we can do to fix these things is to get, before you have children, make sure your finances is right and also get married first. Now, the reason why I would say try to make sure your finances is right, I normally wouldn't say this. I will usually push, push forward getting married first. Always get married first. But what I'm saying is, even when you get married first, make sure your finances are right. I'm sorry. So get married first, then make sure your finances is right. Because it's very expensive to live. And another thing that's destroying African-American men is that just African-American people in general. What's destroying African-American people is women telling other women that don't know anything, 
that's on a losing team. What I mean by losing team is that they're single mothers. They're living with people. They're not making much money. So they're on a losing team. And on that losing team, they tell other African-American women that you don't need no man. You can you can you can do it all by yourself, girl. You don't need no man, and and they and they they blow these girls' head up and get them to really think they don't need no man. Despite the fact that that this this girl is on welfare, despite the fact this girl only has a, a high school education, and they tell them they don't need no man. How is that even possible? And what they'll do is they give them their 15 minutes of fame, give them a two-hour baby shower, bring all these gifts and stuff like that. You think those little gifts is going to help? With, with a fraction of a child for 18 years. Nope. You, you have your two hours of, yeah, I'm a celebrity. Yeah. And, and these people don't even ask where the father is. They don't even care. Nobody asks that. I've seen this stuff. I've lived it. They don't ask. They don't care. So what happens is these women go out there thinking they can credible hawk the whole world by themselves for 18 years straight without hardship, without adversity. And what happens is that they find themselves in a situation where you can't pay that bill. You're about to get you're about to get kicked out of your house. You're about to get kicked out of your partner your apartment. You're getting evicted. You have no other family members to depend on. What do you do? Your your child's starving. What do you do? And and what I see is women out there. They call up guys. Cause they know guys, they know certain guys that can help them, but guys ain't gonna do it for free. So what do they do? They're gonna sell themselves. They're gonna sell themselves to do what they gotta do for their children and themselves. Cause what they've been told by other women, you don't need no man, you don't need no man, you don't need no man. So now they gotta sit there and not only need a man, you gotta sit there and, and do something nasty with this man. Versus when you have the opportunity when you're younger to go out there and find somebody that you can actually build with so you won't have to do that stuff around other strangers. And give your child a good upbringing because kids see everything and they remember everything. So, black men out there, if, if you going through a hard time and something's bothering you, tell the truth. M make a YouTube channel. Go see a therapist. Talk to a, a close relative. Don't bottle it up. Because if you bottle it up, it's going to affect you. It's going to affect the rest of your life. You're going to wind up hurting somebody. You don't want that. So if you got something on your mind, let it out in a positive way. And get help before it's too late. I love you all. Thank you for watching. Peace.